Welcome to the Mind Vine Podcast, where we challenge the stigma associated with mental illness through conversations about a variety of issues impacting mental health. Here we bring you news, views, and interviews that intrigue, educate, and celebrate recovery. Leading us on this journey are the hosts of the Mind Vine Podcast, Daryl Mathers and Chris Bovey. Welcome to the Mind Vine Podcast. Uh, my name is Daryl Mathers. And uh, I don't have my co-host today. Usually I have uh, my co-host Chris Bovey with me, but we're flying solo and we're actually on location in Burlington, Ontario. We took the podcast on the road because we're doing kind of a, a really special thing with the Ontario Shores family that, that we have back in Whitby. We brought them to Burlington to uh, participate in a mental health initiative, which we're going to talk extensively about. But first, I'm going to introduce my guest from the Paul Hansel Foundation, Brian Hansel. Welcome. Thank you, and thank you for making the, the big trip from, from Whit- Whitby to, to Burlington on a Wednesday afternoon. That's never an easy drive. No, no it, it wasn't, but uh, we have, it was on the first challenge that we faced today. We, uh, uh, we'll get into a little bit of the initiative, but if you're wondering why we're in a park, uh, talking about the foundation, we've, we were in the middle of your great initiative with the combo plate, hashtag combo plate, and uh, the power went out. We're making the best of it. Everybody's still having fun. And uh, we just we kind of saved this part for near the end of the session, and we're running out of light, so that's why we're in a park. But um, first, let's start off by tell us about the Paul Hansel Foundation and the Combo Plate Initiative. Sure. So the Paul Hansel Foundation was has, has been founded in, in uh, memory of my son Paul. Um, sadly, we lost Paul through tra- tragedy. Um, Paul lost his life to suicide. Um, and I, it's very important that, that to me that we classify it that way and that the words that we use are the words that impact other people and, and the survivors of suicide, in fact. Um, so, I mean, I don't believe that anybody chooses to die from any disease or cause, let alone by suicide. And um, so it's our belief that there was a presenting uh, mental health issue that uh, resulted in Paul losing his life to suicide, unbeknownst to us. Mm. And from that tragedy, uh, I know you, you've now done uh, a lot of media, you're, you've gotten a lot of attention with your advocacy for mental health, but you took that tragedy and you've done something with it and you've created a legacy and can you talk about how the combo plate started and where it's gone? Uh, for sure, and, and what I might add is that uh, the mission of the Paul Hansel Foundation is to um, promote programs that are aimed at the mental and emotional well-being of youth. Um, I don't know a lot about mental health other than what I've had to learn uh, over the last uh, six, seven years. And uh, so we don't, uh, we don't develop or create things. But we did decide that one of the things that we could do uh, was to get out on an awareness campaign um, that initially started as uh, keep the conversation going for mental health. And that was really just kind of came for me on a bit of a whim and a little frustration that um, conversations about mental health seem to happen in moments of time throughout the year. Uh, but we wake up every day with mental health, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. And uh, we talk certainly about our physical health, that we should be talking about our mental health as readily as we talk about our, our uh, physical health. So uh, our initiative, The Conversation Plate, um, is an initiative that we run here at the Art Gallery of Burlington. And uh, we run an art therapy program where people come in and decorate uh, clay plates. We put numbers on them, and then they're um, they're put out in the world in, in a circulation. and And we ask uh, people to help us keep the conversation going by uh, passing the plate to somebody else and um, having a conversation about mental health and asking them to keep kind of the chain mm-hmm. going, if you will. So the conversation plate serves three purposes. The first is to stimulate conversations about mental health. The second is to inspire everybody to do something for the good of their mental health every day. And the third is to raise money for mental health charities and causes, whatever they may be. So, uh, you know, as much as uh, we need funding in our foundation, we do not ask for the money to come back to us. We get some that comes back. Uh, and we're very grateful for it, uh, but really, this is an awareness campaign. Uh, <coughs> so, up until last week, I'll just share with you: we had 160 plates that were in circulation. There's now 370 plates that are in circulation because we, we launched 210 at that gala. Um, and so, last week, there was the, the Center for Workplace Mental Health had a gala celebrating their 10th anniversary, and they recognized 210. 
uh, leaders in mental health from across the, the country who had been uh, uh, advancing the cause of workplace mental health. And so they all got a plate. And it's fun to see they're all popping up all over the place now. And one of the components of the combo plate is the social media aspect. You see uh, people that receive the plates, they post it on social media, then they pass it along. And another one is you've had some people of uh, higher profile receive the plates. Can you talk about maybe some of the, you know, the politicians and uh, celebrities or people of prominence that have received the combo, combo plate? So there's two questions there. I'm going to ask <laughs> your last one first, and hopefully I'll remember yeah. the, the yeah. first one. Uh, so in terms of um, uh, people of prominence, uh, prominence, um, uh, I, I guess some of the biggest ones is that uh, a conversation plate has re reached uh, Prince William and, and Kate at Kensington mm -hmm. Palace. Uh, this past summer, um, I had the, the, the fortune, the good fortune to uh, present a, a conversation plate to former First Lady uh, Rosalind Carter mm. in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, Rosalind Carter has been a huge mental advocate for the last 30 plus years. Uh, so that was, uh, that was uh, quite an inspiration. Um, in terms of, of, of politicians here in Burlington, every level of government has, has, <laughs> uh, has uh, seen a conversation plate um, and, and have come in and helped and participated mm. in, in uh, creating conversation plates. Uh, we have had plates through um, ministers, <laughs> Um, uh, 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 federal ministers mm -hmm. and and, uh, and provincial ministers, and uh, you know, for us, it's an awareness campaign. We're trying to get, you know, help everyday people just understand and get comfortable and connected with the com with the topic of mental health, and that by working with high-profile people, that high-profile people will, will 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 help to stimulate it. The best conversations, I think, really go on with mm -hmm. everyday people, if yeah. you will. But they help reach everyday people. Yeah, for sure, and I think that relates then back to to, to your earlier question. I, I mean, I also you know just say there's mayors from across Canada that had that plate. Mm -hmm. uh, the Canadian Mental Health Association just recently passed a plate through the divisions across the country, and brought it home for the national uh, conference. John Tory, Mayor John Tory, when he did the plate, he did a very special. Um, uh, clip on, uh, on on Twitter did a video clip, so that was kind of yeah, cool. it's, it's kind of fun. Which you know everybody's kind of trying to do something one more up the line, uh, but with with some of the high profile people, uh, we say tens of thousands of, of interactions with their social media, um, and and literally. So the conversation plates today, um, as of today, there's 370 conversation plates that are in circulation, and that's really just been over the period of about 18 months. Um, and there's been tens of thousands of conversations that have happened um, uh, as a result of it because we ask people to post a picture of themselves with the plate kind of in support of mental health and wanting to have conversations about mental health. And it's, it's, it's amazing just to watch the domino effect of the social media. Another interesting piece for me, aside from kind of the, the reach that you're getting with this initiative and the impact you're making in terms of awareness, it was the production, like seeing our people come here, you know, from Whitby to Burlington and participate in making their own plates. And I know the foundation, your target is primarily youth or young at heart, um, but it must be, you must get a, there must be a lot of experiences uh, for you in watching people or a lot of value in watching people go through the, the process of creating their own plates. Yeah, we have, uh, we've now, uh, you will be our 38th session hmm. where we've had people come in to make conversation plates. And we average about 20 people to a session. So, uh, you know, we're, we're in the six and 700 uh, plates that have been hmm. made. Um, and I have been at all but three of those sessions. Hmm. And what I find is that, you know, somehow through the course of the conversation or um, uh, through the course of the things that I'm talking about, I'm connecting with people mm -hmm. and I get very connected with them and their plate. And then when it comes time for a plate to go out uh, or to go into circulation, I, I have an increasingly hard time letting any of them mm -hmm. go. They're like my, you know, they're like my children, if you will. And so I now have to rely on the team at the Paul Hansel Foundation um, to make decisions about who's getting what plate. And it's amazing the, the connections that they're creating with, the, with those plates. So I've had to detach myself a touch. When you started the session today that we participated in, you kind of tell your own personal story and you talk about your son and why, why you're involved in this initiative and why you're so passionate about it. And I'm wondering, you know, this might be a tough question to answer, but 
doing this work, does it make you, does it help you in your own kind of recovery, you, the grieving process? Does it give you purpose? And does it make you feel closer to your son? Any of those kind of ring true for you? You know, it's, uh, it's an interesting question. It's, and it's something, uh, you know, the emotions of it is, is something that I've been kind of grappling with for a long time because there would be something that would happen, we would get a Facebook post or a Twitter post of something happening with a combo plate that we knew nothing about. And, and I would, you know, I, I would be overcome with emotion. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of backtracked me to, you know, the uh, Paul losing his life. And um, it was a lot, I was a little confused for, for a while. And, 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 and finally I kind of caught myself and I said, there's two things here. The first thing is, I'm as healed as I'm ever going to be about the loss of my son. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is not something that we get over. It's hopefully something that we can work on and get uh, that, that that we get stronger and that we'll get past. Mm -hmm. um, and and I feel you know a little bit of strength, more strength every day. And and you know obviously I you know I love my son and I miss him. Um, but when it comes to uh, what's going on with the plate itself and the engagement with people and seeing plates in Australia and Dubai and, uh, you know, uh, around the world. Um, it's, it's, it's pride is my emotion. I've been able to, it, it, I'm, I'm very overcome by um, how people have leaned in mm -hmm. and um, supported making plates like you've come from Whitby to mm -hmm. do this. Um, uh, that they're participating in in in, cra in our art therapy program and crafting the plates first of all and then secondly um that we have strong participation in the whole movement and 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 i call it a movement where people are passing the plates and participating uh, my son was a an outgoing guy uh, he was a young man um, he was uh, a talented musician and uh, a friend of everybody. He was like the go-to person. Um, in fact, when he was at, uh, he, he was attending Brock University and he, I, and he and I spoke regularly and I saw him once a week. And so he said, he shared with me that, you know, he was surprised at how people were having challenges in making the transition from home and high school to the dorm and university and that there was almost like a lineup of people outside of his door and he was giving instructions. And being a little entrepreneurial guy, he said, I think I'll just go and rent a big room and we'll get 50 people in there and I'll charge them all $25, I'll do it once and we'll get this done. And I, you know, that's a good idea. And so, I mean, I had every confidence that he was transitioning well and he was a happy guy. He had a lot of great things going on. His school marks were good. He was participating in activities. Um, and, um, so uh, he was just a hands up guy. That's his, he, would, he would give you a hand out for a second if that's what he felt, you know, if that's, if that's what needed to happen to engage a person. But after the initial handout, he'd really be encouraging people to help themselves out. Um, so tragically, uh, Paul lost his life to suicide in December 2010. And <clears throat> it's important to me, and I think it's important to the world, and I've said it enough times, that I think we're finally starting to see the rest of the world catch up. Suicide is a cause of death. That's why I say he lost his life to suicide, okay? There was some other presenting mental health issue that led him there, okay? Um, and, and so uh, we created the foundation kind of in the image of the person that Paul is, still to me, and uh, it's all about giving uh, people a hand up. And so the mission of the foundation is to promote programs that are aimed at the uh, mental and emotional well-being of youth. And you have characteristics of your son kind of built into the foundation. Just, I noticed on the plate, the notes, the musical notes, you, you know. Yeah, I didn't, get a chance to, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to tell the group that, but I'll, I'll share it with you. Is, for sure, the logo, there's four musical notes, and there are four different colors so that they, they, they pop out. The colors don't really mean anything mm. other than just to give them some definition. Um, but uh, the, the four notes uh, represent Paul's talent as a musician. Mm. So Paul uh, played guitar, played the piano, uh, was a singer, 
um, and and composed, wrote, composed, and published his own music. So that was we put all in one uh, one classification. In fact, there's still music up on iTunes uh, that that he that he pushed up there as an album, and mm. uh, we've, we've just decided to leave it up there. Mm. People are interested in it. So each one of those notes represents an attribute uh, an attribute of Paul. Mm. So if people are interested in learning more about the combo plate or in, in your foundation, how can they how can they reach out? Well, the fastest way to, to hit things and just to see what's going on with Convo Plate is to use the hashtag Convo Plate, so C C O N V O P L A T E. And the social media it will run for a very long time. <laughs> yep. Um, and uh, if you want to, uh, you know, connect up more with us through the foundation, uh, we have a fairly robust website that's uh, um, uh, www.paulhanselfoundation, Hansel with two L's, foundation.com. Um, and just, you know, while I'm thinking of the website, one of the, one of the fun little things that we've built into to, to the website is a tracking tool for the plates. So there are no two plates that are alike, um, and every plate has a number. And so we ask people as they're receiving the plate to register that they have it. It hits our tracker, and we can follow them around the world as as they go. Um, and so that's quite popular uh, on our website. Well, thank you very much for sharing about your son, the foundation, and the work you're doing. We think it's uh, fantastic. That's why we came all the way out here. Well, thank and you. And we really, really appreciate really, it. Really, really, really appreciate your support. You're going to want to paint green, yellow, red, and blue in those notes. Can you do three coats of glaze on those notes? I know the path we walk together begins and ends with hope. It's going to get a reglaze on it, and it's going to get fired in the kiln, and that's what that's what a finished plate will look like. Okay.